I saw a blood. Yes, yesterday. I saw blood. Yesterday. Eh? Yes, I just got miscarriage. Miscarriages. Yes, yesterday. Eh? Yes. Coming out of you. Yes. And you were questioning what is this? Yes. Eh? Yes. So where is your husband? Is he? Yes. Eh? Is he your husband? Yes. When did you marry him? 2005. Eh? 2005. But the, your, two, yes, your stomach is blocked here. Yes. Yes, eh? yes, yes. it's true, Daddy. I can't hear. It's true. So that you must not have children. Yes, we yes, only... Yes. Eh? You only have how many? We have uh, two, two children. Girls. Touch your stomach. You will have the last one. Thank you. Amen. Jesus Amen. Name. You are free, you are free. My name is Arabang Lifiedi. I'm from Pretoria West. Here is my husband, Wesley Lifiedi. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Yes, the pastor just prophesied to say, saying he was seeing a lot of blood upon to me and my stomach sometimes is bloated. It was 100% true as I got the miscarriage early this year in January. And then sometimes my stomach, I feel like it's bloated. It was very stressful, especially during my periods because I was having a terrible period pains. So since Papa prayed for me, I believe that I am held. And Papa, can you tell us how was the situation of your wife affecting you? Uh, the situation was so bad. You can just imagine losing a child, you know, because of we were expecting a child because of we were told that it's going to be a boy. So apparently now we got two daughters, so we are so happy and we're so willing to receive the child. So apparently something happened and she got miscarriage and she had to go to a hospital. She had to go in and out of hospital. So all, all this time I was alone with, with the children and while she was struggling in the hospital. But by faith and prayer, thanks to God, we are where we are now because of the great counseling of people who are always around us. And now that the, the man of God has spoken into your case as a family, what is it that you believe that God is going to do for you? I believe, I believe the Spirit of the Lord is upon my family. For me, just to, like for me just to have a family and a wife and a children, it means I'm blessed. It means God is around my spirit. So I believe in God. I stay by faith. I know God. I can achieve anything that I pray for in the name of Jesus. Any words of encouragement to the viewers all over the world? The encouragement, I will say to those who don't believe in Jesus, they must start believing in Jesus and praising, and Jesus knows all what our heart desire. They will all receive their blessings. There's a, there's a young lady here. Come. God loves you. But you must stop complaining about your parents. Amen. Uh, where are your parents? Uh, my mom is here huh? in Pretoria. My mom is in Pretoria. Your mom is in Pretoria? Yeah. You are worrying about them? Yes. Huh? Amen. And don't you think God cannot solve that? I know he can. Huh? He can. So just, just you are a child. Leave it to God. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Leave this problem to go. Go with solve it. Amen. God loves you. My name is Patricia Adol. I'm coming from Pretoria. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Um, the man of God said, I'm worried about my parents. And I declare the uh, prophecy to be true because. Um, I worry a lot about them, especially my mom, because uh, she took care of us. Um, she was a single mom for a very long time. So I tend to think about her a lot and worry if she's okay. And everything I do, I always have her in mind. So today the man of God says, uh, God can take care of them. And that I am a child. It's not my job to worry about them. And that um, God has plans. He will take care of them. I was always thinking about them. Um, I'm always thinking about my mom, if she's fine, where she is, or the plans that I'm making in future, I always have her in mind. So I 
think, yeah, they're always in my mind, like 24-7. So that's how it has affected me thus far. I believe that um, I have also received my deliverance through the prophecy and that um, everything that was weighing me down or worrying me, God has removed it and He is opening up doors and breakthroughs uh, over both my life and my parents. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? I would like to encourage uh, the viewers that God knows whatever is in our hearts. Like sometimes, even though we don't pray about certain things, but God can see and He cares about the things that are worrying us and that we should just trust Him and believe that He has a solution for everything and everything. So my encouragement basically is we should never ever doubt that God knows what's in our hearts and that he will solve it in his time. In Jesus' name. If we don't, I prayed for you last time, but I didn't tell you. Because there's a confusion in your relationship. Amen. Yeah? That's true. David. You people want to separate, but I didn't tell you that time. I just pray for you. Amen. So you people, you need to stick together. Amen. So... Let's forget this issue of a child. Amen. There's an issue of a child between you people that you are talking about. Where is the brother want to marry you? Is he not having a child? Mm -mm. Where is he? Bring, <laughs> is around? Eh? Call him. <laughs> Let me ask him about a child issue. David. David. You are the one who want to marry? Yes. There's a serious problem. I'm just hearing about the issue of a child. Yes, it's true. Eh? It's true. You have got a child? No. Eh? No. So you are just thinking about a child? She is. Eh? She's... She have got a child? No. You must wait until you marry. It's true. In Jesus' name. Amen. Who told you that you are too late to marry? So marry now, child will come. Amen. Don't discuss a child now before you marry. Amen. This will make you to, do, to sin against God. Yes. Eh? Yes. Amen. So she was telling you about a child. Yes. She wants a child. She says she wants something to hold on to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is then she, she will believe that you will marry her. Yes. But when I ask her, she says she knows nothing. <laughs> and here, I'm telling her about the child. The child. So she wants to use a child to hold you, or she doesn't believe in you? Hey. <laughs> uh, but you we, we talked. Now she's okay. She's okay? Yes. Sister, you don't, believe, you don't trust him. Yeah. I was Speak not the trust truth. Yes, I was not trusting him. Eh? I was not trusting him. You don't trust him? Yeah. That's why now you want a child now. So after you get a child, you will trust him? <laughs> yeah. I'm hearing about the child. She says, does he know? But she's the one who's demanding a child. The child must come. I'll be able to hold the brother. If you do that, it's possible that this brother can leave you. It's really possible. If you people, you do this thing before marriage, after this, you realize that it's not love. It was just issues. You must wait for it. Look what is happening now in the wedding. Do you know why we, we open up this thing? So that even when you don't have money, you understand? And at home, they don't believe in marriage of wedding, and you don't have enough. After you pay lovola, you come to us and say, I want to wed, we say, let's bring your parents. You understand? You don't have money. On Sunday here, you dance your step, you come outside here, you go after that, you go for reception outside there. What is wedding anyway? Is it a cake? Or is you? Wedding is not you. Huh? So even the things of the cake and what, whatever flowers, after the whole day when it's finished, it's finished. Do you take them to honeymoon? Huh? On a honeymoon, you will find only bed. So you must never do things that you find that now you are rushing, rushing. You are rushing, rushing. God loves you. Because you are, if this brother is weak, you were supposed to have done that and gave you a child. I'm Dayan Mashamba from Tembesa. My name is David. I'm from Allende. 
Yes, the prophecy is true. Exactly what Daddy said. It wa is what, what was happening. And I'm happy that he said it. And there is nothing more I can say. He's, he said it all. What he said is the, what was happening. I believe whatever was out there to do whatever now is cancelled and everything will run smooth. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? What I can say to the viewers, they must keep on believing God. No matter what you are facing, you must know that God knows you, knows your heart, and your problem will be solved at the right time. When it's not solved, don't think maybe God is not aware. Just know that God is aware, and at the right time, He's going to solve your problem. Our problem cannot solve at the same time. Others, they will, they will look like there is a delay, but I believe at the right time, God is going to do what He's supposed to do. I want to give you this message when you were praying, my brother. You, please don't give up. Don't give up because what Satan is doing, he wants to stop you. You are giving up. Yes, I heard it. Huh? You told me two, three times. That I I'm, told you before. Yeah, in Polokwane, yes. that I mustn't yes. give up. Don't give up because I'm seeing tough times are still coming. But it's of preparing you ahead. Thanks, Daddy. I don't know whether you went to, because I'm just seeing a car like a bucky. You understand? When you are going on the other side of the village to do crusade there. Have you been doing crusades? No, I, I haven't started with eh? crusade. Do you have a bucky? The bucky I sold it uh, December, I got the small one. A small bucky? No, it's small. It's a private car. The I see I sold a bucky. God wants to bless you. With a I thanks. see a bucky that, that we use for crusades. Oh, thanks, I know many people they don't believe in you. Yeah, that is that's true. Many people they don't believe in you, but God wants to fight for you. God bless you. Thanks. thanks. My name is Pastor Mabuya. I am from Bochum. Yeah, the prophecy that I received today is that the man of God saw me that I'm losing hope. And also, he said uh, he saw me doing a crusade, and uh, uh, yes, I can confirm that to be true. Although it was not a crusade, because this year, January, February, I was called to assist another church, and the problem was a bucky uh, to start a crusade for my own. But he said he saw a bucky coming to my way, so that the ministry can go well. No, uh, to me, I wasn't aware that I was losing hope. As a man of God was saying that, maybe I will, I will check myself, but I, I wasn't aware that the prayer has gone down. And not that he has prayed for you, how are you feeling? No, I'm okay, I'm okay. My strength has come back. He has comforted me because he tried the issue that there are still some challenges that are still coming. It's not yet over. And then there will be some little challenges that are preparing me for the destiny. So I think I'm comforted. I will have to face them and so that the destiny will come. Any words of encouragement to the viewers that are watching? No, I encourage them to just hold on even though there are uh, challenges because challenges are preparing us for the higher dimension of the spirit. So they must just hold on, particularly those who are studying in the ministry. Sometimes it's hard. As the message of today was saying, we must just follow the voice of God no matter how difficult is it around us, we keep on holding on the prophecies. We are holding on prophecies that comfort us. So whatever that is coming our way, we know that it is, it is bound to come. I'm hearing somebody who's got a demon like a ghost. Always when you sleep, there's a person, it just passes in the room. Where is that person? Just lift up your hand wherever you are. Remember I call one person? No, the person who see a person passing in the room like this. It's like a, a ghost. It's a real thing. And it's bringing fear now. It's like this person wants to take your life. So I want to pray for you. Where are you? I can't hear. It's you. You are seeing a ghost. It's like a person who passes you like this. Yes. Come here. You need deliverance. Come on. You demon.
Leave her. Leave her. She's free. <laughs>